feel that uh, some kind of motivation now that they all appear on in the, sem uh, the scene? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I want to beat the kids while I, while I still while I still can. So. For the moment, like I don't have uh, full confidence in my chess ability right now because I haven't played since I played in Germany and uh, which was a bit more than a month ago and frankly I haven't looked too much at chess since, since then so I might uh, take a couple of days to get started but once I get started I still have confidence and my ability to play. Yeah, for sure. And uh, with uh, so many new faces in the Grand Chess Tour, you are not the full tour player, but uh, some of them are. Who do you think will fight this year for the first places? I think it's very, very open um, who's going to do well this year. But Abdus Satorov is an obvious choice considering the progress he's made recently and that he also has uh, a track record of doing very well in, in all sorts of formats. Uh, but I think all of them are definitely capable of, of doing well. Yeah. And uh, you just said that you didn't have, uh, you didn't play for some time, but I saw your Instagram post where you published a nice, beautiful photo where you were actually reading a book about the end games. Uh, do you think some players will be afraid to play Rook and end games against you? <laughs> <laughs> I think they should, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not Rook end games specifically, but I, I, I still think I'm a, I'm good end game. Yeah, definitely. And uh, speaking about the openings, are you going to surprise us with something really interesting? Like last year we played like Polish Gambit or maybe Cow opening, who knows? Any surprises to expect this time? I mean, you mentioned the Cow opening, which I think is just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's incredibly... St I, I, I like, I mean, I assume it's a joke on the hippo, uh, but it's like, yeah, it uh, doesn't make any sense. Um, to me, the Polish opening has some sense. Obviously, I played it mostly as as a joke. Uh, I don't particularly intend to uh, repeat it, although for the Blitz, you never know. But yeah, I definitely have some ideas of surprises. But um, we'll see how many of them I'll uh, I'll get to use. Yeah, I asked about the cow opening because it was the question from the last year opening ceremony. One one of the spectators asked you if you were aware of it and something like that. So it was just my guess. Uh, was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my opinion of it hasn't, hasn't got, changed, it yes. hasn't changed <laughs> since that times, yes. Uh, I know that actually you will be playing in two events at the same time. So like balancing two big events, like how are you going to do it? Playing chess in the during the day in GCT in the evening on Chesscom, like. What's your plan? No, the, the thing about the Champions Chess Tour this year is that there are fewer events uh, and so I didn't really want to miss any of them and I didn't want to miss this event either here in Warsaw because I enjoyed it so much last year. And it was not about the fact that I won, uh, I just enjoyed being here. Uh, I remember like the first two or three days when I was not playing so well. I was still thinking that this is this is a nice um, nice place to be, and I, I like this. Um, and winning winning was a nice was a nice bonus as well. Um, but okay, what I wanted to say is that hopefully I'll have some energy in the evenings to play Champions Chester as well. Uh, but it's obviously you know it's not going to be um, it's not going to be an easy challenge. But I think I'm up for it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure for all your fans, you know, who have this kind of opportunity to watch you play in two events at the same time. I mean, it's yeah, it's not going to be boring days <laughs> as a chess fan, that's for sure. For sure. I mean, speaking about the fans, how do you enjoy being here in Poland? I remember last year they were running after you. What's happening this year? What do you think? Yeah, I enjoyed seeing all the, um, the, uh, the fans there last year and uh, you know, obviously, as a competitor, sometimes I need uh, need to be able to focus. But I didn't feel like it was was a problem last year, and um, it was it was really good to see. Yeah. And my like, last question. I mean, of course, I just would like to ask your opinion about the Kenya Days tournament we just finished uh, some days ago. Um, what was the most exciting moment for you? What would you like to say about the winner of the tournament? Yeah. First of all, I'm hugely impressed with uh, Gukesh. Um, I mean, I'm famously one of the people who underestimated him 
um, before the tournament that I knew that he had the potential to do well, but I didn't think he had the potential to do this well. So, mildly impressed. Congratulations to him. As for excitement, um, the candidates is, uh, is unique in the sense that it really incentivizes people to push very hard for a win from the get-go and uh, obviously the, the, it culminated with um, with uh, the last round and uh, the game between Fabiano and, and, and Jan. Uh, I, I myself was thinking several times that I should just go to sleep, Fabi's gonna win this and then we'll see tomorrow. Uh, then I thought, yeah, let me watch a little bit more and you know, a lot of things happen. It was just great and great and 